Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Technocrats. In today's video, we will see how to run a servo motor using QD77MS4 or MS16 simple motion module. So in this uh, video, we will have used Q03 UDV as our CPU. And in this uh, part of the video, we will cover the basic parameters setting with jog, homing and positioning. So let's get started. First of all, I have this new project with Q0, Q0, Q03 UDV CPU as my PLC. In an intelligence function module, I will right click here and click on new module. I will select the motion, simple motion module, like say QD77 MS4 and let's click OK. Now, expand this and uh, double click on simple motion module setting. Here we will do some basic settings. So I will click on new. And uh, QD77 MS4, OK. Click OK here. Now expand this. We have system setting, system configuration. Here we can use access, like double click here. We can select Q0, uh, J4, or you can, you can select JE. OK, and click OK. Now for the second also, let's select GE, click OK. Now uh, moving to the mark detection, what is not, we are not doing it right now. We are just moving to the parameter sections here. And here we have to set the unit setting. Let's say it's a roller which is pulling some paper. So the unit is in mm. Now. We have to select the, uh, let's say, reckon pinion or no, we can say uh, roll feed. Okay, so it's a unit is in mm. We need to enter the diameter of the ruler that is dr here, that is 2 mm. And uh, let's say the reduction ratio is uh, 1 ratio, uh, let's say 2 ratio 1. Click OK and uh, let's compute basic parameter 1 and click OK. So once this is done, let's move to the another part. Now we have the speed limit. So I am not changing it right now. Acceleration time, deceleration time, let's be. So we have now here is stroke limit. So stroke limit is a 2 1, that's a default value. Okay, valid. Now we have this input loss uh, in, uh, input sing signal uh, logic selection for lower limit and upper limit and stop signal. So it's negative logic here. No issue. Now about the external input signal, so that is not required as at present. We might require it when we are using mark detection function or we are, when we are using iMark uh, for some correction in our paper. So that is not required at present. Let's move to the section. This is jog limit. Let's say it's 600. And uh, we have the acceleration time and the acceleration time here. Now moving down, we have this homing method. So at we will first see the jog and then we will come back to the parameter section for uh, home. So we have done the jog part also and the, we have done the basic setting for uh, that uh, unit setting also. So let's move to the program now. So in the program, first check, let's check the manual to enable the servos. So this is our manual for QD7 MS4. We have the X0 as ready signal. Y0 is PLC ready, X1 is signal and flag, Y1 is for all server access on. So let's first write the program. SM. SM400. And we will use OUT Y0. That is all ready. Okay. 
nodes then we have x0 that is our ready and outy1 that is our y1 is our all success one No. Once this is done, let's lay 400 here, and uh, we will write the jog speed for axis number one. For buffer, we can go to the help section here, and buffer memory address list. Now, for parameter. Uh, So we have the job limit here and uh, job speed for access number one it's 1518 in double word so let's write this uh, we can say d move uh, let's d10 u0 the g1518 okay so this is our speed uh, job speed x is 1 now for same for x is number 2 the move the you can 12 u0 oblique g1618 so this is for access number 2 okay once this is done let's go back to the manual and uh, we have this forward run job start command that is for access number 1 that is y8 so m1 this is one jog forward for ut by uh, 8 same for m2 reverse for access number 1 O U T Y nine for access number two it's Y A and three this is access access two forward jog O U T Y zero A Zero A. Now M four for access two. Job reverse. O U T Y zero B. So this is for the job. This is your uh, servo on section, radian servo on. Then we have this speed, jog speed for access 1 and access 2. Then we have access 1 jog forward and reverse, access 2 forward and reverse. And uh, now we will move to the homing section. So let's go to the parameter section again. In the parameter section for homing, you have this uh, SPR basic parameter setting. So you need to select the SPR method first before uh, doing the homing so with the proximity dog method or we can use the data set method in the data set method it, it means that at present where the servo is and if you uh, do the SPR then it will consume, uh, assume that the position is home so let's use data set method here and just zero okay and uh, same for the data set method for access number two 
and uh, we have all the setting for SPR it's uh, not for the data set but for the different dog methods and count methods okay so let's now move to the parameter programming section in the programming section we have this uh, we can check the manual here posting start is at y10 for access number one so we need to use this let's write down m10 as our homing bit homing access number one click ok now uh, we need to use the output ou we can use uh, set and uh, wait for it. first we have to move the k901 that is for hpr request to u0 public g1500 that's in the manual homing is here Pushing start for access number one is G1500 and uh, for access number two it's 1600. Okay. So for access number one it will be K901 for 1500. Okay, now we have to do one thing. We have to set the positioning start command that is y10 they have already seen it here it is a position start for access number one that is y10 okay now once this is set and we transfer k9001 in u of 0 oblique g1500 it will start the hpr uh, process so now we have to reset y10 also so what we will do is we will use from the manual we have this position complete flag for x10 xs1 that is x10 uh, that is start complete okay and uh, x0 x14 is for position complete so we can use x10 here X10 position complete access one and we have uh, Y10 as our Y10 is on then we can reset Y10 okay and uh, we can also use X Busy command this can also be used access one zero C it is our busy command access one busy okay. so this is done and uh, we have to also reset M10 so by doing so you can do the homing of your uh, access number one same for access number two same logic will be used for access number two just need to change the buffers from g15000 to 16000 and y10 and uh, this x10 and x0c according to the manual now let's go to the uh, positioning part for positioning let's go to the manual uh, sorry the parameterization parameter again here we have positioning data let's click position access number one the two there are two ways to do so like if we prefix the data here like uh, incremental linear and this uh, positioning let's say 10,000 mm and the come speed will be around let's say 60 so this setting can be done from here or from the buffer area for buffers we have 
the posting buffers like uh, let me show you posting dot area yes we have control patterns like we have here control patterns control method control method acceleration time deacceleration time access interpositions, positions command is in posting data so we have this uh, for access number one same register will be used and for positioning data number two because you can see that positioning data number one is here so that previous buffers were for that for access for uh, number two the parameter changes to two and three and so on so you can use this and also transfer the uh, data okay so once the setting here is done close the window go to the program here again and uh, before let's before this we should insert like uh, m11 as our uh, positioning start okay and uh, we will set we can use a uh, move block like uh, mov k1 to u0 oblique g1500 same as we have used for the homing for homing it's k901 for spr that means and for and k1 is for positioning data now we have to set m10 here also so we will use uh, once again we will set the m10 from here and once this m10 is set we have to write here m11 reset m uh, reset m11 okay so this is how you can do the positioning homing and job uh, in the qd 7 s4 and 16 so that is all you need to do in the program so if you like my video please like share and subscribe thank you